so you're walking on a hiking trail and there is a dead animal on the side and the smell is really horrible what do you do do you stop walking do you go back do you move slower or do you move faster the same thing applies let's take another example you're driving by a chemical factory sulfur factory or whatever and there's bad smell so what do you do you slow down or you move faster some people when they find themselves in a problem or when a problem finds them they freeze some people slow down something happens to them I don't, whatever cognitively something happens to them their entire thinking slows down maybe because they go into a victim mode maybe because they go into they find an opportunity to get sympathy they feed of that sympathy maybe because um, they start doubting themselves maybe because uh, they like be living in a drama but bottom line is they just slow down and they get you know they get deep stuck, stuck deeper and deeper into the problem itself some people completely retract or they go into denial it's like the problem didn't even exist in the first place although in reality it's there and some people do something about him about this and they double the speed when you find yourself in trouble you double the speed now i'm using this as a metaphor my point is you double your focus you double your attention you double your intensity for finding solutions because the more you do that the sooner you will get out of this problem the alternatives are, are obvious when does this happen in life sometimes it will happen in your career you will have career challenges your performance will be in question you will have competition uh, when you are you know applying for a, a promotion uh, the company is in in the mood of you know reducing staff and maybe uh, your job may, might be on the line right? there's so many so many so many examples where your career will be under pressure what do you do you freeze you slow down you surrender not an option you double your speed you work harder multiple times triple quadruple whatever it takes so that you do what's necessary to get out of the problem because that's where the focus is you don't stay next to the smelly dead animal you move fast to get out of that situation same things might happen in business the business is economy slowing down you used to close shop at 5 o'clock at 5 p.m what do you do you stay until 7 p.m until 10 p.m you work in the weekends it doesn't matter point is you double your speed or treble your sp triple your speed to get out of this problem otherwise your problem will become worse because if you know in good times you know working until five o'clock five p.m was fine in bad times it will not be fine complaining about it will not solve the problem you double your speed you go on a fifth gear or whatever gear that acquires more power same thing with family something needs your attention you don't ignore it you double your speed i.e you double your attention you double your effort to solve the problem before the problem becomes bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger <laughs> Self-leadership is about getting out of your problems. It's about dealing with the challenges of life. And that is everybody's story. Slowing down is not an option, unless it's strategic, so that you can think more about it. Giving up is not an option, because the problems will chase you. 
they will haunt you and whenever is a, whatever is a lizard will become a dragon the only option is is to take your problems head on full intensity double intensity and get out I don't see other option and that's what self-leadership is about